Thanks for listening to the fucking Abby show, dude. Wait, so George is pregnant? Hey, fucking wood chopping. Yeah. Yeah. Abby's mean, actually really funny. I appreciate yeah. that. It's not today. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> So everybody knows you on loving, like happy, idiot, fucking dumb fuck. Oh, Harry, he's just that big, floppy idiot. You know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs>what is up everybody thank you for listening to the podcast it's so unnatural for me to stand and talk i'm gonna look right above the lens my first guest is harry jousey he's a dear friend of mine i met him when he was on call her daddy he fucking killed it he was super funny you guys know from what to handle call her daddy every podcast and fucking taking over the internet taking over the world he's one of the funniest people i know he's one of the most ambitious driven people i know and i'm very grateful to, ha- to call him a friend and we did a podcast together called tap in that many of you have listened to it was very special to me that he was the first guest for this podcast if you don't know who i am my name is abby roberge i'm a stand-up comedian i've been doing comedy for like 10 years last night there was one guy sat in the front wearing a mask and i was like why are you wearing a mask it's pussy he's like i have covid I live in LA, I'm from Canada, I'm from the woods. Check out my page, you can watch some of my stand up. This is my first podcast, me and my business partner, Ari Manis, we own Melrose Podcast together. We produce everyone's podcast and I've been so focused on everyone else's show, I haven't had time for my own show, but now I'm finally doing it. I'm launching it, overcoming my fears of thinking like, oh, I'm not a good enough conversationalist, I'm not whatever, but guess what? I'll fucking edit out. If I say stupid shit, I'm just gonna fucking edit it out. So I'm not even worried about it anymore. Fuck yeah, I'll even edit shit in. I'll even like, if I think of something funny later, I'll just like cheat it and then I'll fucking add it in. Thank you for listening guys, Harry Jousey. We're back. What's up dude? How we feeling? Welcome to Tap In. (laughs) How you doing, you good? Dude, I'm pretty good. Tables have turned. Tables have turned. Tables have turned, it's fucking my podcast now. Oh fuck. Yeah, yeah dude. Fuck these cameras dude, we're leaving the set. (laughs) Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, open that bitch up. Hell yeah. What's up, bro? How you been? I'm pretty good. Yeah? It's just I'm just gonna stop recording these cameras. Okay. And like this this is the podcast. Like this, this Oh, this is it. Th- we're recording. Like this is oh. it. What's up guys? Welcome to Abby's podcast. Yeah. It doesn't have a name yet. It's called Abby's and podcast. How many tap in listeners? Fans of Harry Jousey. Yeah, you already heard the intro because I already said it before he was in the studio. <laughs> this is the studio that we're filming at. This is the behind the scenes. Yeah, this is what it looks like. It's actually, it's so funny when people come here and they're like, it's really weird to be here because they can only, they only see like this. Yeah, and they're like, it's actually oh, a whole wow, room. I didn't realize you were filming in this like tiny little shithole. <laughs> It filled with fucking garbage, but this is it. This is Melrose podcast. Yeah, don't, make sure you blur out all the sponsors as well. This episode, this episode is, is is brought to you by brought to you by Glassex, Glassex cleaner. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, you can buy it at your local dollar store. Promo code one dollar. And Reboge. Does it does it feel like this this way of podcasting? Does it feel like more comfortable or less comfortable? Less comfortable because usually I'm. Because you're the one like taking like the lead. taking the lead for the podcast, yeah, right? Yeah, so I don't know what to do. It, it almost feels like bad taking the lead. I'm like almost like Harry, this is your show. Like, no. you know, this is this is my moment <laughs> yeah, to like step into my big boy shoes. Yeah, you have to. and like really be a man and really take <laughs> charge of this yeah. podcast. Yeah, tell everyone how funny you are and stuff. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, it's actually really funny. I appreciate yeah. that. It's not today. I. Guess. I no. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, I'm funny, bro. <laughs> Do you have advice for me uh, hosting my own podcast? Because you're pretty good. At, like, I mean, you're a very good host, right? Yeah. You, so you usually do a bunch of drugs before. Yeah. So it's kind of off the table for you. Might as well. It's been seven, four years? Seven years. Four years. Four years. Well, like, really, like, eight years without drinking. It was, like, two and a half years sober. Yeah, you, you've done long enough. You may as well just try again. <laughs> okay, let's change the format again. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll do acid before every episode. Oh, yes. That would be interesting. That I don't think we'd good. talk. And every episode's 12 hours long. Yeah. And we talk all the way through our acid and he, trip. And he's on acid as well. Yeah. And he's just filming the floor. Yeah. And if you want to listen to it as an audience member, you have to take acid. And the show's yeah. called acid. Do, a- Do Acid with Abby.
That's that's a good concept. That's a good. Show. I don't know how well you go with sponsors, but I think it would be fun. Oh, actually, mushrooms are kind of getting cool. Yeah, there's a lot of like mushroom companies that'll maybe sponsor it, or they just like we'll have like an acid dealer sponsor it. Like, so if yeah. you want acid, just email my friend and he'll send you acid. <laughs> yeah. And he'll send, he'll and send you. Give, and he'll give us a cut of his sales. Yeah, you get ten percent off. Yeah, with yeah. Abby's code. Yeah, and promo you, code. They have to like down like order it on the dark web or yeah, something like that. Coming. Yeah. That'd, that'd be cool, yeah. And you do it like Joshua Tree with like no shoes and like no shirt. Like rename yourself. Mm -hmm. You go back to your first name. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna change my name to Sage. <laughs> Fight over, I don't like towering over you like this. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> is that is that what it's like for you every day? Yeah. Um, do you wanna tell everyone about your tattoo? <laughs> Which tattoo, this tattoo? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, again, okay, because I know he's not gonna say it on the podcast. <laughs> you got a tattoo with a girl and broke up with her. Things in Edward. Look, speaking from experience, we both we both have done. Well, it. fortunately, we stayed together long enough for the tattoo to heal. Uh, so that's good. At least you didn't break up before the tattoo even healed. That's a positive. Yeah. Yeah, I got a tattoo for a girl. It was kind of funny. It was kind of spur of the moment. Yeah. Do you remember saying why you did it? <laughs> Just to kind of like. <laughs> I don't know, fuck sure, how crazy you are. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly just thought it would be funny. I and it's, like sorry, we had sorry, sorry, we had talked we had we had talked about uh, the idea. She's uh, I don't know I don't have anything bad to say about her. She's like one of the best people I know, and she's really cool. And yeah, it didn't work out. Fuck, he still loves her. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching this, don't text her. <laughs> <laughs> I blocked her on everything. Oh, good. good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. But just like out of healthy, like just yeah. to be healthy, just to it's, be like, I honestly think like that's the healthy thing to do is mm. just like treat someone like a drug and then just like cold turkey, like ice cold. It's almost like when you're texting someone, that's yeah. like to, to me, it's like telling like a uh, uh, someone's trying to get off heroin, like just do a little bit and then mm. wean off. No, you just have to stop. Yeah, just like see each other one time before yeah. you break up. You're going to end up fucking. Yeah. It's pretty cool though, because like I'm in a lot of pain, but I'm also like never been more equipped to handle the pain. So yeah. I'm actually like, all my actions have been like really like productive. Like I've really been on top of my shit and I've like never been more focused, which is pretty good. It's a good way to like dive Because some people, energy. some people will use that, use sadness uh, from a breakup at, to justify bad behaviors. Like, yeah. oh, I can eat, I'm, I'm sad, I can eat like shit or like I'm sad, I can do this. And I'm, I'm gonna do like, again. I'm just gonna pass, right? Like yeah. the only thing that'll actually make Thing, everything better is just time, right? Mm. So it's gonna pass no matter what. So why not come out on the other end of it like better? Yeah, keep your brain busy and shit. Yeah. One of my friends recently broke up with this girl, and they both started posting TikToks and Instagram stories about each other, and it was so the bro, it was the most cringe thing I've ever seen from two adults going back and forth on TikTok with like subliminal messaging. How old are they? Like th in their thirties. <laughs> Fuck that shit, bro. He posted. He did a Q and A. Where are you going? I'm just grabbing water. Uh, did you. you see? Did you see that Mormon mom that she just got separated with her husband and they're like, oh, so what's happening with the kids? And she did a TikTok dance. Uh uh. Oh, I ha bro. <laughs> what is this? She's there. Someone asked her who has custody of her kids, her or her ex husband. She just got a divorce. And that's. That's crazy. I can't tell if she's like no, she's 20 or 50. Not a bad dancer, though. That's no, a great dance, but like, people are like ripping on her. Whoa, that's good. I'm a fan. <laughs> so that's what we should do. We should get you on TikTok, deal with your heartbreak. And the funny shit was, is he was doing like Q and A's on this story, and so obviously asking himself the questions right. on the thing like, <laughs> so so what happened with her act, like her full name? She seemed like a bit of a bitch, and he's yeah. like, ah, oh, bro, like you got no idea. Like, yeah, yeah, like she setting, was such him, a cut. setting himself up to virtue signal. <laughs> exactly what was fucking going on. It was I was I was watching. I was like, come on, man. Like, and the worst part was like. She made a TikTok on him asking himself questions, but like wasn't naming. I was like, bro, like just text each other. Like right. just get your shit sorted. Get it out of the way so, you so no one has to put up with this shit. That's crazy. It's crazy. It's kind of nuts. I think dating in LA is impossible. This should be the the format of the podcast. Like every season ends with us being in love. The season starts with us being single, right? Yeah. Like, uh, do you watch the show Trailer Park Boys? No, I should have. I've heard it. It's like one of my favorite shows growing up. And like every season ends with them going to jail, and then the season starts with them getting out of jail. But are they all? We then, should do that. Right. Go to jail. 
<laughs> American Joe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we'd do pretty good. We'd do pretty good. Have you seen the show 60 Days In? Uh-uh. Bro, in the most insane... It, they put a season on, on Netflix, which is the dumbest thing they could have ever done because now I can't stop watching it. And normal people apply to go to jail for 60 days. And the goal is they need to find out like where the drug is coming from, what's happening, blah, 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 all this shit. Like the wardens like request this yeah. TV show to come through. And bro, it's fucking crazy. This guy who was like a, um, a jail warden, he couldn't even get in. Like he, he started crying. Really? In the intake room. Yeah, he started crying. He's like, get me out. It wasn't even like two hours. Exactly. Yeah, that'd probably be me. I fucking need my freedom so much. Like, if I, I, I don't even like being stuck in a room for like an hour. I'm like, <laughs> I if I can't freak. go get my, get, just go stand in the sunlight, I'm fucking pissed, dude. My, one, of my, one of my best friends growing up, he's been in jail. He's been in jail more than he's not been in jail, and he's around the same age as me. Really? Yeah, and he's, he'll probably be in jail for another like 20 years or something doing? like that. Some wild shit. And, Damn. uh,. Yeah, I feel bad for him. And when he calls me all the time still, and every time he calls to me, I brag to him about everything in my life because I'm trying to inspire him to get out of jail. Mm. But, and I do feel bad, but I'm always like, yeah, dude, I'm just going outside right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the sun. Yeah, I'm just hanging out in the sun, dude. And just like, yeah, I'm, probably, I'm trying to inspire him to like appreciate freedom a little bit. He'd probably come out and murder you. <laughs> No, nah, he's just, it's so funny because he's like a hardened criminal, but I've known him since he was a kid. So like our dynamic is like even though I'm a pussy and he's a hardened criminal, like I still fucking roast him all the time. <laughs> so everybody knows you as like a very, it feels weird interviewing you. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's fucking weird. It feels mm -hmm. uncomfortable, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to try. We're, we're, we're trying to laugh through it. So everybody, everybody knows you as like this like fun, loving, like happy, idiot, fucking dumb <laughs> fuck. That like everyone's just like, oh Harry, he's just that big floppy <laughs> idiot. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, yeah. yeah. Someone, people say that quite yeah. often. Yeah. yeah, he's like Harry's big. But what they don't know yeah. is you're actually like, <laughs> like one of the most like driven, like motivated, hardworking people that I know. Like wow. you're. Uh, like, like I get, like I always get fired up talking to you. Like if people hear our conversations like off camera, like it's. It's almost like we're like on cocaine or something. Yeah. We're like, yeah, we're gonna start this business. And we're gonna like do this, and then we're gonna do this. It's just like it's it's definitely um, some wild uh, conversation, and which is dope because like I absolutely like love like vibrating in mm. that frequency when I like I'm I'm heavily affected by other people's energy and like their outlook on life and sometimes I hang out with people that are like negative and all they talk about is like all the problems in the world and I have to like mentally put up blockers but what's cool with you is every time I talk to you it's like very I get fired up like every time yeah. I leave which is awesome have you always been like that or is that just a new thing or is it like are you riding off the momentum or have you always just been like a super ambitious person I just think that like I don't know if you wake up and you worry about all the sad shit, you're gonna be sad, and that's a day wasted. So I'm just like, fuck, there's just so much opportunity, and there's so much abundance, and I think yeah. that I like to be around people that get me fired up and like yeah. make me excited for the future and like work hard, and I get pulled down when I'm around people that like like are thinking that way, that are just like, oh, fuck, like this and that, and, and, and they're sluggish when they get up. Like, you get up, you do your shit, you do your fucking 75 day hard, you like grind, you. Fuck, yeah. pin your ears back and get your shit done so that motivates me so I'm like I don't know I just I think by surrounding myself with people like you and, and in that mindset it makes it better it makes me more fired up whereas if you're around a bunch of like losers that are fucking like right. worried about everything worried about politics and whatever it's like fuck that like who cares yeah, you know, absolutely. Depressed. Like, that's such a good point. Like, I think there's so many people, and I've been guilty of this too, where it's like I'm worried about politics and worried about some, like bullshit in the news or something. But I'm like, no matter how much I worry or how much I don't worry, like, I still have to exist right now, alive in this yeah. country. And that's that you can, that I can try and form my opinion based on what's going around the world. But yeah. the only thing I can really control is my actions in these moments. Like, oh, I think the economy's fucked up. I think this is going to happen. I'm like, if the economy's good or the economy's bad, it shouldn't affect whether, like, I get up and start. Start have working a good day. And work hard it's like i can always like i try not to focus on stats and statistics or anything because i always think as an individual you can be an exception to that rule 100 like when i coming up in like entertainment stuff like that a lot of people and i'm not going to say who who but people always go like dude it's not the right time for white guys right now in hollywood like, or like some that? bullshit like that and i'm just like first of all that's like it's a weird thing to say and also it's like well except for me though yeah <laughs> i'll be I, an exception to that yeah i just i always hate when people cloud your fucking vision or your brain with like right. shit you can't con like 
There's things you can control, and that's your success and your direction and your happiness and your right. abundance. Shit you can't control is the the rest of the fucking world. So don't worry about yeah. them. Worry about your own shit. Because right. there's people that have that have overcome more. Like there's people. There's that guy that doesn't have legs and arms, and he like he's a motivational speaker. And he gets up and like gets people fired up. So it's like fuck if this guy yeah can do that. Or there's like kids out there in movies doing all this crazy. Yeah, shit. there's just, like, people that like and there's people that like really inspire me. Like like when I go online, I like look at like stuff like Chase Demore is doing, and like he's really like. <laughs> fucking kid working hard and he's like training and he's like really pushing you know what i mean and he's just got like cool haircuts and i'm just like i'm just like fuck man like i need to really like i gotta like snap out of it and i, <laughs> I really need to like focus and like and like get my shit together yeah 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 <laughs> fuck he's like he's like number one on my list for sure <laughs> yeah he's I'm, I'm like such a big fan yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's like, fuck. There's just so many people from reality TV that just, yeah. But like I was saying, it's like, regardless of, like, the outside circumstances of the world, like, if, like, you know, sometimes I'll, like, watch news, and I'm like, oh, fuck, like, everything's about to, like, implode, and, like, cryptocurrencies. I'm like, you know what? I want to get to a point where it's like, I think there's a lot of happiness in the distance between what you have and, and like, your desires and what you need. Like, mm -hmm. I want to have so much money, yet want nothing. Yeah. Like, like I want to be able to be, like, comfortable where it's like hey i can lose everything but as long as i have like sunshine can eat food and can work out like like my life isn't isn't affected by like the outside yeah as long as i can masturbate like four times a day i'm i'm pretty good that's it right that's it <laughs> are you gonna fight are you gonna box anybody no nah, i think this shit's corny now like unless uh, you're gonna be like a professional boxer right like i think that all these people that are doing it just doing it for a paycheck and yeah from like what I've heard, a lot of these people aren't actually getting paid, and they're getting like promised money, maybe if they, right. if the fight like works. But it's mm -hmm. like I don't know. Yeah, I just think it's corny. So there's better things to put your time and energy into. But yeah, I don't know. I've been trying to like be cautious of my frequency because I feel like when you're in that fighting frequency, you're putting out so much bad shit. So bad shit's gonna come back to you. And I don't want to do that. I want to just make people laugh and, and entertain. So just that's what I'm focusing on. And you're you're working on acting right now too. Do people know that? Yeah, bro. I've been mean, like. I think like six months or so now, like just quietly just chipping away. The hardest thing is dialect. I mean, you're probably the fine. American accent? Bro. No, because I have like a speech impediment. Like when I'm in Canada, people are like, you sound so American. And then uh, when I'm here, people say like, you sound Canadian. But then really? I'm just like, I just kind of sound fucking... Sound, sound stupid. I'm just, I'm just a little slow. Yeah. yeah a little slurred yeah. in my speech. Yeah, be careful. You <laughs> so you better yeah. describe yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Choose my words wisely. Yeah, but it's crazy because like, when you do the dialect sessions, like... Bro, I get so tired after it because you have to think. I'm of, listening. About, you have to think about every word you fucking say and then think about it in a sentence and think about it in a paragraph. It's so stressful. Can you do an American accent? No. Nah. For the audience? Nah. People, so, no, no, so, people, so people that listen to Tap In are going to be excited about this because there hasn't been a, an episode in a while. Mm. And pretty like cool experience that we did all that you know yeah we had like a lot of cool people on the podcast and some episodes that got like some insane views yeah See, it's nuts goes. and i guess for the, the audience that uh watches the podcast it's in like a weird like limbo stage right now because we want to there's a lot of plans and a lot of things that we want to do with it like with travel we want to make it easier to get bigger guests so we have yeah. so that means that we have to be able to go to their houses and a lot more like re requirements and shit like that so we're just building it bigger and better so i actually don't know because it's not on my hands abby doesn't know either right so if you guys know <laughs> <let us> know. <laughs> you guys know yeah. yeah we're just we're just big we're, we're, there, out. we're working out like technical uh like technical things business things yeah and just just waiting for everything to kind of we want to be more enjoyable together. we want to know we want to have like an actual format and like i also have this theory about you know there's there is a large wave like so for people that don't know, like I own like a podcast company, like I own the, the company that did Melrose Podcast and we produce a bunch of podcasts and we sell ads and we do all this stuff. And I, and so I'm always thinking about like the way podcasting is going. And I also think there's so many people with followings that are starting podcasts. Yeah. Right? And I eventually like the audience is going to start to get diluted a bit and it's going to be spread around a little more. There'll still be some big podcasts. So in order to stand out, like you can't do the same shit. You can't do the same shit, and you can't uh, stick to the bare minimum. Especially like someone like me who literally like has no following or like has anything. Like you have yeah. to be original, it has to be unique. And well, I was thinking of this podcast idea where 
you have a paintball gun mm -hmm. and every time you're the person, the guest, yeah. celebrity guest preferably, answers the question wrong, you shoot them. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so, but yeah. it has to be like trivia. Yeah. So like what's the capital of Italy? Right. You don't know? Bang. Bang, yeah. That's that, a good that'd one. be fun. And I think you'd ha have a lot of reoccurring guests. That's not a bad one. Yeah. Me and Ari tried doing this podcast about five years ago. We were like really early on. If we kept it up, we'd probably be like Superstars. the next like Alex Cooper probably. Really? Yeah. What was the show? It was called Small Talk with Abby and Ari. So we wore secret lapel mics and we'd go to, we'd hang out at comedy clubs and we'd walk up to friends of ours and we'd start like bad small talk with them, like boring fucking small talk, right? We'd just like talk about the weather and like talk about it. And anytime they'd try and make the conversation interesting, we'd just dead it. We'd be like, oh yeah, that's cool. So are you doing anything fun today? Like just like uh, like destroy the conversation for like, f and then like five minutes in, we just be like, so you have anything to plug? And they go, what do you mean plug? So you're on our podcast. And they go, what? And then we'd show them the mic and go, it's small talk with Abby and Ari. We have just small talk. You should do that with like random people at like shopping centers. It, it was really good. And uh, people were got pretty upset by it. Why? Um, well, because like a lot of people like said like, bad shit too you know what oh, I mean oh right because okay. they don't know if people don't like being recorded if they're not being if they don't know you know that's illegal isn't it I think there's a yeah I think there's something some sort of rules to nah, it yeah you'd be fine if yeah you get them to sign a waiver I would be like this is gonna make you famous yeah it would have been the biggest podcast in the world well Easily. also when we were editing it the sound quality wasn't good because we were doing it in like crowded places so just hear like, a th like right. so much noise I think if you ran background. up against uh, up to someone's face with a whole camera crew and a mic and everything like that and they like scared the fuck out of them yeah. and then just did that it might be a little bit more have you seen that black guy on TikTok that like walks up to people and asks them a question and kind of like stares <laughs> like out into the, just has these like dead eyes and he just kind of stares out into the no. distance he's so fucking fun I've seen I've seen there's this guy that does that and then he goes he like asks a question like hot chicks and he's like okay now get away from me <laughs> tells him like leave but I haven't I haven't seen that guy no that guy's good I need to come up with a gimmick dude I'm tired of crafting talent over decades and years <laughs> and working on something I just want like one gimmick yeah and then I can just capitalize on that that's one interesting thing about TikTok is mm. you know how uh like people just try a million things and then one thing will work and they just yeah. go well I'm doing this now and only that yeah I would rather die or not become successful than have to be like the guy that, that like is only known for like cheese bread yeah like there's a guy that just every video he's eating like a dragon fruit or something like I've that I've seen that guy I'm just like I'm just like stop it he's always on live stream it's just like yeah. eating fruit it's like this like like natural sugar levels are gonna be f like terrible for you. Oh yeah, and then there's that guy that like he like had like one viral video just like thirst trapping, cutting a log or something like that. So Bro, that like, guy's always on my shit. Yeah, like, it's so brutal. Yeah, it sucks. Imagine one day he comes up with like a stand-up comedy show and everyone's just like, no, just no, go like chop, to chopping wood. Chop wood. Yeah, exactly. So like, I would never want to be boxed in like that. Imagine he's like, hey guys, I actually have like opinion on the world. And everyone's like, yeah. shut up, yeah. you <laughs> fucking idiot. <laughs> Yeah, you like, I want to stop idiot. world hunger. It's like, fuck off and chop that wood. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. Yeah, you're a clown, yeah, basically. Yeah, fucking wood chopping pussy. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> you imagine, like, you did a video with, like, you wore, like, a clown nose or something like that, and then it got, like, 50 million views. Yeah, I have to be the... Bro, because you, like, you see that, like, it? Pennywise and then Willy Wonka TikTok and they have, like, 20 million followers. It's just, like, imagine just, like, wanting to... To be I would yourself. rather not be successful yeah. than have to do bullshit. I would literally like rather like clean toilets. Just straight up. I'd rather be a jander than have to than have to put on like a Willy Wonka costume for the rest of my life and like walk around and be like, yeah, I'm that guy from And then you have to explain who you are. Like, yeah. oh, I'm the guy from tic like the TikTok Willy Wonka oh. guy. Like, oh what do you do? Like, they oh, probably I'm make good money though. Well, I think after a while people get bored of it. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. And so uh, I think if you're a creator on uh, on TikTok, you have to try, just like, I don't know, try a new thing. Maybe even create a separate TikTok account where it's like yeah. you share your opinion. I was thinking about doing that, like having my main one just stand up and then another one where it's just me fucking talking. You should do what Pat does and just reply to those auto-generated Pat's the king of TikTok. He's the most underrated yeah. TikToker in the fucking world. Uh, he need, he just needs to be bigger than big. Like he he, he needs to be bigger than that like, Kanabi guy. I think he's probably the most entertaining Hawaiian since like The Rock. <laughs> 
you came here, you experienced a lot, you've done like, do you get, does everything kind of feel normal to you now or is it still like pretty exciting? It's pretty exciting. It gets a little bit overwhelming. I think like sometimes um, I get like, I've never really had anxiety before. Sometimes when we're about to go out or like go somewhere, I get like fucking like, I start freaking out a little bit and I'm like, oh fuck, like this shit is stressful and I just kind of like, it makes me enjoy like being alone a lot mm. more, which is kind of interesting. Um, but it gets, it's so exciting. There's just so much abundance and opportunity in this space. And yeah, it gets me fired up to keep growing and to keep, I don't know, just keep working on my craft and, and trying to be better. Also, since your show, pretty much like every relationship you've ever had has been public. You yeah. know what I mean? How's that? <laughs> No, there's only only the select ones go public. The rest, oh, okay. the rest are like private. Uh, like when you're dating um, uh, <laughs> Khloe Kardashian and all that. Yeah, thing. yeah, that had, that one had to that one had to stay. What was what was the other, what was one that so what was one that wasn't public that you want to be public now? Fuck. No, there was a, there's a couple that were just like I don't know, just way more fun and way more enjoyable. Like keeping it out of the public eye, but it's also funny because when you start to hang out with people or you start to like someone and you like doing TikTok and making content and right like making videos and shit together and like doing a podcast together you just want to continue to do that with people right. you like yeah so it makes have, it, i know we have some mutual friends that will like post a dude like on the first date yeah like, what, what are you doing like what the fuck That's is going crazy. on crazy yeah it's 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 bizarre it's fucking it's an interesting world especially uh i don't know you just it's everyone, and everyone jumps the gun as well. So I guess I'm getting like a building a reputation of just like, oh, new girl, new week. I always get right. those comments. But I've had Georgia for like three months. Yeah. So it's been like fucking strange. That's been pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's been great. She's, she's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, she's a big ball of energy. Got back like, to Australia soon. Yeah, she's great. I'm, I'm super happy for you. I'm super yeah, happy for Georgia. She's crazy. Yeah, she's a very lucky girl. No, I mean, like, I'm happy for just Georgia in general. Not for, for, for me. It's not what I meant to say. I didn't mean to compliment you that hard, dude. I'm, like, happy that you guys, like, have, it. Yeah. yeah, and it's, like, you yeah. know. No, nah, it's so going to be short-lived, so last. it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, nah, fuck you. It's actually, well, yeah. three months in it's, L.A. time is basically, like, 12 years. Yeah, we're in, talking about kids and shit now. Yeah. So I'm, like, you know, it's time to wrap it up. Yeah, you should, dude, you should just get her pregnant. It'd be good for content. Oh my god, yeah. You Imagine, could, look at how much money the Ace family made. Yeah, I think you guys would. <laughs> I think you guys would have like a way. You'd be like a content pumping factory. You'd yeah. Fucking start a little sweat mill with little baby info. Yeah, literally. Like, yeah. This is how you fucking renegade. Like, yeah. And shut the fuck up. Keep going. Yeah. Like, you should move to Australia, start a farm, have twelve kids. Yeah. Eight, maybe 18 kids. And just have them live stream 24 7. Yeah. Like constantly. Like you have no fucking choice. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. Start working. <laughs> like that's their life. That'd actually be fun. It's so funny. How, like back in the day, like parents used to have kids because like their kids needed to work on the farm. You mm. know what I mean? Like it's like kids for like free labor and now people want to have kids because they just need the content. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Imagine being... That's me. I'll be out of con like fuckboy content ideas. I'm like, fuck, what can I do? All right, the puppy's too fat. I'm going to have to get <laughs> Georgia pregnant. <laughs> she'd, be so, she'd be so shocked. Like, why do you want to get me pregnant all of a sudden? Like, oh, the views are slowing down. <laughs> I need to shock the world. You should also, with your guests, you should be like, is there anything you want to plug? And then just cut it. <laughs> it... And just yeah. say talk or just like blur it out. Like, right. I'd be... I'd be like, Harry, <laughs> Harry, you want to plug anything? And then I dub over your voice. Like, like with your tour dates? Yeah, like, Wait. yeah uh, I'm going to be uh, at all your shows this week, <laughs> giving out, taking photos with every single person yeah. that attends your Everyone show. Everyone comes and getting $500 from me personally. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's smart. That's the way to do it. Should we do some pull ups? Here. Hey, you're good. Ah, fuck, I got something in my did, eye. Did you hurt? Hurt yourself? You okay? Yeah, no, I just got a little, little piece of something in my ah. eye. Oh, yeah, you've been doing that Murph shit, right? Yeah, I'm so fucking sore, though. Mm, fuck. Ah, it was 400. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> ah, it actually hurts. Let's see. Yeah, see what you got. Anybody who knows me at, at any level knows I just finished the 75 hard thing. 
Yeah. So yeah. He's, he's had a bone for 75 days straight. 75 days straight. Cialis every four hours. <laughs> just keeping it going. Yeah, so basically I did it and now I'm fucking jacked and cool. But now I gotta find the next thing. And you've yeah. you been doing this Murph shit? Yeah, I've been doing a Murph. If you don't know what that is, it's one mile run, 100 pull ups, 30 push ups, 200 squats, another mile run. Yeah. It's so fucking fun. Like, Obviously, if you do it, do it slow and at your own pace, but it's so much fun. And you feel you feel like a god after it. Fuck yeah, dude. I appreciate you being the first guest on the podcast. It's going to be a, it's off to a strong start. And then episode two, so I don't have any I more. think you had Miley Cyrus coming on. Got Miley Cyrus. I don't even think I have any more friends, to be honest with you. So it might just be one episode. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, I got to do you. And then episode two will be Ari Manis. And that's pretty much it. It's a, it's a, it's season strong. one. See, done. <laughs> wrapped. See, season one of the Abby Robert show. <laughs> Fucking wrapped, dude. Oh, I'll get Chase tomorrow on, probably. Yeah, and then Pat. We should do a yeah, double I'll get, episode. I'll get Pat, yeah. That might be a winner. That'd be good. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the fucking Abby show, dude. Uh, um, <laughs> go fuck yourself. Don't even subscribe, dude. <laughs> Fucking don't subscribe. Don't even listen. Don't tell all your friends. Find me on social media. Block me before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, follow fucking Ari Manis and uh, Michelle Obama. <laughs> don't say any racist words. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. There you go. Don't leave a comment. Don't leave a comment. Don't do that. Comments will be turned off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't even leave a comment. All right. Thank you.